This is Dorothy McIntyre, the matriarch of girls' sports in Minnesota. In the 1960s, when Dorothy was a PE teacher, girls played sports through the Non-Competitive Girls Athletic Association, or the GAA. Girls' sports had been popular in the 20s and 30s, but there was a wave of concern that sports couldn't be good for young women. Attitudes began to change when Wilma Rudolph won three gold medals at the 1960 Summer Olympics in Rome. It was also the first year Dorothy taught at Eden Prairie High School. While at Eden Prairie, Dorothy was told her students could compete with other schools as long as they could get transportation, so Dorothy studied and got her bus driver's license so she could drive the school bus herself. But her influence was just beginning. In 1970, she joined the staff at the Minnesota State High School League. In her first seven years there, she led the creation of state tournaments for 11 girls sports, the first being a track and field meet held almost a month before Title IX was signed. At the State High School League, she developed guidelines for girls sports in Minnesota and oversaw the inclusion of women in high school state tournaments. Through her work, Dorothy McIntyre became a national leader for bringing girls sports back to schools.